Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, you know, I'm in Australia and it's going to be really hot again today. Uh, I'm, I'm here to do a bit more work on this piece. Now, you might have seen that I have changed it a bit. I had these um, big white bugle beads along here. And I thought that was too overpowering for me. So I took them off. And I'm making these little flowers along here. Okay, I'm beating those. I have finished. I did a lot. I did a bit of this stitch here. On that, I did these pieces here. They're really nice. These bits of um, look at this thing. Get a bit of fluff off there. Um, right. <laughs> okay. So, whoops. I'm gonna pull that. So we've done a bit of, of, of everything, a bit of every. Oh well, I like to do a little bit on some of the pages just to try and keep, you know, the pages. I meant the, the squares, or the, the triangles, whatever we got. But anyway, so I did these other silk ribbon, and they are. I love them. They're beautiful, aren't they? See that? The colours are not as good as what they are in the reality. But anyway, I hope that. Uh, um, I hope somebody likes it. I hope the lady likes this that I'm doing it for. She <laughs> and see what she says anyway. Okay. Um, right now, I'm going to make a few more of these. All right. So I've got the box here that I have. Whoa! Well, they've already tipped out and put been put back in. So that's <laughs> what's that one. Can't see because the camera's in front of me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I've been doing the colours out, out of here. Out of these ones. These ones I think I got from Spotlight because they got this little thing in them. The other packet I got from one of them I got from AliExpress, I think. And then I got these I got two of these from Spotlight, I think. But anyway, I just like them and I like them because they're all the same size and if you want to do something like this, it's um it was really cool, you know, so you can get the same size. So now I think I might put a nice pink one on, okay? So I'm going to do seven beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put that on, and then you go back down. Oh, I've got glue on me. Sorry about that, I'll be clean off a minute. I've been working in my glue book, just having a bit of a cut out and a bit of a glue while I was waiting for Jeremy who had to go and do a bit of shopping this morning and post some things for me okay so I know put that in there so you pull that as much down as best you can by trying to pull it in the best you can it's going to be a little bit wonky until you get the bead in the middle, which will be one of these beads the same as those, same size. You think that that's a big space, but you know it's not too bad. It'll fill this will fill it up, and then it'll like well sort of it didn't disappear. But I can go around now, and I'm going to go over over the pieces of thread that's gone through the beads. Okay, make that nice. Yeah. I feel really good now that I've actually sent one of those things off and I'm really sorry but I didn't get to video it when it was finished I'm sorry about that I just had to get it done and get it posted so I did work on that on the weekend I'm sure you'll see a lot of other if you've seen the bags I've finished before this. Now that's really nice, isn't it? Now I'm going to do another one over here. Do a green one, eh? We can have a green flower. Well, I was thinking about putting a. Why is that man coming onto our <laughs> up to the door? I don't understand that. He's, he's, I'm sure he's up on our yard. Might be just me. I <laughs> don't you reckon he sounds awful close. Maybe not. No, he's just really close to us. 
that squeaky thing. It usually only comes to the door if he's sending us a parcel. He must, he put, he's putting something in the mailboxes because he's going to everyone, so it's probably rubbish. It's probably an ad or something, you know, advertisement thing. Which is no good to you, I mean, really. It's probably not something you want. Okay, so where's the... Wipe my hands. Get this glue off myself. Okay, now do the green one. I've got seven. Give me, give me. Oh, he's got his seeds, he said. Oh, I don't know. he wanted to tell. Well, maybe I could have got a mail. <laughs> I didn't. Never mind, doesn't matter. Don't need a mail. Uh, I'm getting funny about not being able to go out, but you know what? If I can just go and look in some, another one of the boxes in my room, I'll find some goodies. I don't have to go. I don't have to go to the shops, do it again. But still, it's a, it's a thing, you know, to getting out and doing a bit, I suppose. Sorry about that, I'm grizzling about that every time I come on here, I'm sorry, but it's always in my mind. It's always on my mind. It is. I know. Yeah. I was putting five on, five beads, but they didn't seem like they were... Um, I don't know, I had enough space in it to put the one in the middle. It wasn't quite right, so I think this looks good. Might be a little bit, not so tight, but it's okay. This one went well. Oh, look at that, didn't he go nice? He looks really good. Some have been skewy with, but that's okay. We like it, don't we? <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is really pretty, isn't it, this one? All these are. I like the, the cream colour one I'm doing to the cover. You know what I don't like? It's putting them together. <laughs> and that's so silly because it doesn't take that long. And I'm, I've been doing it for years, making these sort of bags. And Well, I haven't done it like for a long time at the rate that I used to. And I don't know why I get so um, funny about it. What colour will we do now? How about another purple, a bit purpley colour, a bit more of a purpley colour. This one here is a bit, a bit more purpley. That's nice. Yeah. You can't see, you can't see me colours, can you? I'll show you that in a minute. What I'm working out of. I think it must have cost about, I don't know whether it was $12 or 20 I mean, there's a big difference, I know. But they've got some really, there's some really nice beads in this. They're not all the same, so not all exactly, because that way you'd pay a lot more if they're all perfect. You know, they're good. They're, you know, different sizes, but that's okay. Well, when I say sizes, five, six, seven. Some of them are a bit longer than the other ones, you know. And that's all right. Or some are a bit thinner. Depends how they were cut, I suppose. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you can see that one there's a bit big and so is that one, but that's all right. We'll, hopefully we'll get it to go into a bit of a circle. We'll hopefully get it in a bit of a circle. It's a bit big then, too, isn't it? Oh dear. And Tim, I'm going to have to take it out. And there goes my thread. Oh, it'll be all right. We'll thread, thread this up again. Sonny, if you've taken that cotton out there, I'll be very disappointed in you. <laughs> I probably have. Because I do. I must have about nine reels of cream thread out in the room. <clears throat> Oh, 
Uh, let's try the other end. Isn't that weird? It really does seem to work here though. If one end doesn't tr work, I try the other one and it seems to work okay. Now I'm going to get a bigger needle, thread this up and end it off. Because I can't, I haven't got enough thread here to do that with probably the size of this needle I've got here. Goodness me, Sonia. <laughs> Come out. Well, if I've got to do it again, I'll really do it in a smaller one this time. <clears throat> room's still good. My room's still looking good. I, forget, I keep forgetting to video it. I um, I'm always doing something, and then I want to get in here and get started because it takes a long time to get going. <laughs> And with anything that you're making or doing, it takes a while to get off, and get off and go. <laughs> Especially if you've got to go look for something. They did have a knot in it. Thank goodness. <clears throat> I don't know if that's going to work very good because got two of those. We'll have a see. Let's have a look and see if they <clears throat> cover. I sent a bag off to my cousin this morning. I'm not going to tell her. She, I don't know if she'll watch this or not. Or probably not. So I didn't want to tell her it was coming. I was really um, worried about it because I don't think of all other people, all the family people, all the family that I have and had, like the, the ones that have already passed, I don't think anybody has got a piece of my work. Now she has, or she will have, and I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> oh, it's not saying they didn't want it, but I just never, never thought to. My, um, my sister that was adopted out that I don't know whereabouts she is now. She has a really nice piece of my work that I did years and years ago. <laughs> I miss it, you know. How you do. And my sister-in-law, my nephews, I made little um, things for them too. So now I made a mistake when I say that nobody's got anything because they do, um, just different ones. And um, but whether they still got it or not is another thing, you see, because they were gift I gifted those things to the kids when they were only little. They made them little wall hangings or covers. Um, so, you know, they're probably past their use by date by now. My sister, I don't know if I ever... My other sister, I don't know if I ever give her anything. Can't remember now. She probably didn't want it, you know. I don't think, well, I've, I've never made anything for my brother either. I don't think he's into this sort of thing. <laughs> I'm sure he's not. He does a lot of miniature stuff and things like that. We both like to do creating things. Oh, they're stuck together. This one. So I hope she likes the bag because, oh well, you worry, don't you? <laughs> well, I do. I just don't want to be, don't want her to be disappointed with it. Don't see many of me cousins anymore. Just have a lot of them one time. It's 
the old ones are out, they're all still there now, still. Cousins are in their 80, um, 80 70s and 80s, getting to 80. So, there was a real lot of us years ago, there were heaps and heaps of us, because there's 14 in mum's family. People drift apart, you know. I rang my brother the other day for his birthday and he said one of his boys had rang him, the other two hadn't. <laughs> I said, oh, well, you know, it was, you never know, they might get to it. But I suppose I said something about them having their lives. He said, yeah, but he said, but I'm always having my birthday. <laughs> I said, yeah, well, that's true. And you've got to think of them, otherwise they'd be upset, wouldn't they, you know. Never mind. OK. That looks good, doesn't it? Don't you think that's beautiful? I do. I absolutely love this piece. Okay. I always do. always love the next piece, don't I? Okay, so one of you ladies said she knows why I use this now. Because <laughs> it doesn't get fluffy. Things do get fluffy, don't they? Oh, we were always looking for the fluff brush when kids were going to school. Always looking for the fluff brush. You know, they take the fluff off things. <laughs> Something like that or a different sort of one. Nobody could ever find it. No, oh, well, I suppose we did eventually, but it was a big thing of a morning to find the fluff brush. Okay, now, um, something one has asked me, I know, about the ribbon. Now, I got mine from a place on Etsy. She's on Etsy, but she's in, and she's in Australia, and she's really good, really nice stuff. And it's not expensive. She, she has really nice ribbon, silk ribbon. So I want to go. I think Lynn, you might have asked me about it. So I want to. I'm going to hopefully go and find the link and put it on the underneath where I put this up. Okay, please to go and buy some of the silk ribbon if you wanted to do that. So this this here is so easy to make, and doesn't it look good? I just, I'm deciding whether I should put another one because. But then I got three over there, and I think you now I don't know whether I will or not. We'll have to see. So now I'm going to put some more sewing. I wanted to do something more on here, but I think I might do do some more stitching. Oh, I can't get all of that off there, can I? Oh yes, I want to put some leaves on this, don't I? Leaves, leaves, Sonia, leaves. Do I do these sort? I think the cotton will do. I think the cotton will look good. Yeah, we'll see how we go anyway. We'll have a go at it. So we'll see what it looks like. Sorry about that. I'll do some um, detached, like a daisy sort of thing for a leaf. Detached chain. No, can't think of what it is now. Of course, that's probably what it is, but I'm not thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. I'm gonna get through there. Very good. No, that's not good. Crikey, I'm getting those wrong things here. Here we go, here's a bigger one. It's got a good point on it too. I'm gonna muck around with it, Sonia. Thank goodness that fans stop making that other noise. I don't know how come it changes. It's sitting way over there, way away from me. So I don't know why it's making that keeps making that noise. Now I've got these little short ones, little short stems. So what do I want to do here? I might start up there, go back down into there. Other way, you, I have a terrible habit of doing this, don't I? I'm always cutting off the first stitch. Seems to be. I don't think through far enough. Now, if we put it on there, as close as I can to it, without going through it, go down in there, 
and come up that way. There it goes. That's pretty good. As you well know, I like to put a lot of work on these. Well, you need to, don't you? Because that's what it is. You're creating a nice piece of fabric. Over here. I have got sidetracked a bit away from other things that I was doing, but I need to to finish this. So I hope you don't mind me showing you what I'm doing. That flower's floating above that stem. <laughs> oh well, he's all right. You just can't see the bit of stem. That's all. It's okay. Now, when you're doing this um, work. On, on velvet you need to make your stitches longer than you think you know because they go down in the pile of the fabric sorry about that me and slipped on there didn't get all of it properly and you know your stitches will disappear a bit you know and then you won't be too pleased about that we're just going to come up here and go through here To the nice lady that suggested if I wanted to do a giveaway I could put these things into an envelope and that's fine I don't mind doing that I mean I could do that but you know this morning Jeremy posted some parcels here in Australia um, and they were all under 500 grams and each one cost only $12 and if you go and post them overseas it's a lot dearer you know for the people overseas and I have a, a lot of um, subscribers that are overseas and I you know if they I, I just you know if, I just don't know what I'd do but anyway if I made small videos do some more work I might be able to post out something to you I have so much stuff and I don't mind giving it away I really don't I really don't mind sharing it all it's so just the price of the postage Even the things, you know, you buy online, you used to be able to get stuff from um, craft online. And if you spent $50, they'd give you free postage. Well, now it's um, 75 You know, everything got more. You have to spend more to get the free postage. It was really is weird in a way because they would get a bulk amount, I suppose, wouldn't they, that they would be able to post the things out to people a lot cheaper than that. Never mind. It's the way the world is now. He's like Jeremy came home today and he said something about how much stuff costs and I, he said, well he just has to you know, he said one poor woman was up there moving money from one account to the other in the in the bank, you know, to try and sort it, you know. But anyway not good. I suppose you got it organised. Doesn't that look delicious? Got a bit more yet. Which one am I using? This one here. 
have to get out some more of these greens. I've got some in that. I hope I didn't cut that first and miss. And I don't want it to come undone. But anyway, I might have to try a new stitch on here today. What do you reckon? I've only got a bit to go with this. Now I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to, whether I should put a stitch up in through there. But I don't think I need to do that. It's, um, we'll see. I mean, I'll look at it a lot before I <laughs> finish it, change it. Maybe, I don't think I'll change, I'm definitely not going to change this. Because I really do like this. I've got to find some um, charms and things to put on it. I'd like to find some vintage pieces to put on it. I should have something there that I could use. Put that back that way. One more up here. I've got a couple of little gaps there, but I think the two, I don't want to put them too close together. We've got this leaf that goes up there now, so that's good. And this one. garden <clears throat> it's a pretty garden okay now let's do a different something I got them there and I'm going to put some bits and pieces on that. I've got a couple of things to go here but once I get the main thing on then I'd like to fill it up a bit. Where's my book? I do have lots of books but I do want to have a look at this one. Just for a minute. I'm over here. Don't really, nobody panic. Oh there's an idea. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that where Where's it? Have I done herringbone stitch? I've done that. No, but I can use some that's already there, can't I? I wonder if I use that. I'll use my chain stitch to do this. But I'm going to still do it in the red. What do you reckon? You know, you don't know yet, do you? Because you don't know what I'm talking about. He's got to find the red cotton now. An eye problem here today. Is there red in there? No, there's not. Oh, it, could, it could be up the front of me, in front of me. It could be in here. I put it in here, did I? No, I oh, use yes, this one. Sort of. That's nice. Maybe I shouldn't. No, oh, yeah. What do you think? What am I thinking? How about that? Well, you've already got this colour here. Okay, because once I do this, I'm not going to be able to see that chain stitch, but that's alright. Okay. Isn't it? Oh. Uh, yeah, because it's not... Yes, let's do this. We'll do this bit. I'll thread that, I suppose. It doesn't take much to thread these ones. They're good needles. It's pretty sharp. Okay. Now I'm going to do... Um, this thing where I'm going to button all stitch over it. Okay. If you watch... <laughs> you're just going to pick up the... the a bit of chain 
I'm just going to do this button off stitch and make it look a bit jazzier. What do you reckon? See? There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Fills it in and makes it look really nice. I think so. You can see what I'm doing. I'll have to get a few buttons together in a minute too because I want to do another cluster of buttons. Been looking through a couple of jars here that I've got. I mean, now when you're doing this, make sure that you're sort of keeping it level, even how tight you pull this in, you know, so that it stays all nice and level. Okay? And there's only way to do it is practice. You just keep doing it. <laughs> Only way to do it is to keep on doing it. Years ago, <coughs> it'd be very rarely that you wouldn't have seen me with a needle and thread in my hand when I was first doing all that stuff work I did. Really loved that. And I do love this as well because I it's a lot of variety, you use lots of different things, you know looks really good this does too doesn't it don't you think that this is making it better it look better from what it was see what do you reckon I think so yeah and I just think it's really cool it's twisting a bit I'm gonna let that fall down there okay Still got seven minutes, I'll be able to find a few buttons, I suppose. And then I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this to make it uh, a bit more interesting. I haven't filled up this one yet, have I? Now, you don't go through the fabric, just go underneath the stitch, the chain stitch that you did. If you want to, you can make a little zigzag. Um, with, with a um, pencil so you can go along and fix that do it first so it's nice and level I just did this by my eye, <laughs> by my eye so I hope it's alright just do it by my eye ok I'm nearly there I'll have to, might have to call it quits on this though because I think I have to get another piece of Thread. I was doing this last night. I play, I play solitaire on a computer sometimes, but night time it's just a, you know, gives me a, something to do different for my brain. And while I'm doing that, <laughs> I'm stitching too. I get, I get a little cut when I'm, I'm, doing, I'm trying to do both at the same time. I said to myself last night, stop doing this, son. You can't get either one of them right if you keep this up. And I. I was doing those little flowers because when you have a th thought of something it's good to carry it through isn't it I'm going to take this through to the back now because I want to end it off and get some more don't pull it too tight because you don't want it to be too tight okay so look, look at the difference that it makes to that and it's awesome isn't it I think that looks really cool <coughs> I'll put some Back stitches on here first before I go anywhere else. I know that I've got the button jar here next to me, one of them that I got Jeremy to get out there now the cup because I looked in some other day and couldn't find what I was quite looking for. So I'm going to um, have a bit of a look to get some more to go somewhere. But I don't think I'll get big ones. Let's get something that's not too big. I suppose I could put a couple more here because there's not a big lot of things there, so we might put a couple more there. Okay. Right now, this is um, interesting. This has got a lot, so I'm just going to bring out a few, I think, just to start with, and just have a see. Mm. Right. I've got some really old ones in here as well. 
and I wanted to, I like these. Might as well do something with them, right? We're gonna bead them, they'll look cool, won't they? Might keep that there. Okay, um, that's been on with wire or something, that one. Brown, I don't know if I like the brown colours for that. That one there's cool. Maybe, maybe. It could be a little maybe, that one. What about this one here? Not bad. Okay. I did have all these sorted out one time and oh, I just really took up too much space. <laughs> just throw them all in together now. Right. Can't see anything there that takes me fancy at all. Oh, this is an old one too, look at that. You can sometimes tell by the things in it. it looks like a hot burn on that. That's not good. I got the grey one off of it. <laughs> okay. I'll put a few more out here. I didn't want to, oh, well, as long as I got it on somewhere, I'll pick it up, put it away. <laughs> There's another fluffy one. We'll use them fluffy ones. We'll add some beads to one of them. There must be something in here. It seems to be the reds and the browns and the blacks in this one. Gee, that's old. Look at it. I like this. So is that. That's really neat. I wonder if I can get the needle through there. Use that one because he's got tiny little holes in it. <clears throat> we might have a go at that one. What's this here? That's not good. Not interesting. Oh, there's a bee. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we've got a different colour. I've mean, got something blue or something. Yeah, these big heart. Look at these things. <clears throat> you know, you can't foot the <laughs> part with some of them. That's just too hard, isn't it? You think you look at it and you go, geez, that's funny looking, but I'll, you never know if you might want a funny looking bit button or something. I'm going to put nice pearly things or something. There's some white ones there. There is white ones in that in here, but that's, all these ones are going to come out first, aren't they? That I'm not really interested in. They'll come out first. Okay, this one here. These pink ones. I don't mind them with a shank on the back, that's not bad. There's a couple of those. There's a blue one. Not nothing too fancy though, is it? There's a little heart. That's not quite what we're doing today. Crikey. I don't think I'm not very um, pleased with that, that's for sure. I'm not really happy with the contents of this at all. Alright. So this is still all those there. And yes, I must have had some red ones, eh? Hey? So I wouldn't have used them, but I did the other day I used some. I did I use some of the red ones the other day? That one in there looks alright. What's this one here? That's neat. Mm. Green one. That's cool. Oops. It's not old at all, it's a new one, but, you know. Oh gee, I'm glad I sent that parcel, because I think I kept thinking oh, about more things I should do and put in it, and, oh dear, it's driving me up the wall. <laughs> that was myself doing that, it's not the, it wasn't the parcel's fault, it's not his fault, but being such a finicky person sometimes. This is neat, that's a really good old one too, isn't it? I might have to put these back in here. Sometimes, you know, I thought, used to think to myself, well, I must have got rid of all those because I can't find anything that I want. But I didn't. They're still here. Nobody panic. I haven't got rid of them at all. Okay, so we're going to put this back in here. I've got a few seconds to do it before that thing goes off here. I want to turn that off. I'm going to stop it now. Let's still try it. I think I stopped it. Yeah. Righto. What have I got? I've got that one, the red one. There's a square one. I do like square ones. Sorry about my arm. <laughs> you all know the cat got me. And, you know, when you're old, it makes a bit of a, a dramatic thing, a bit more dramatic than what it is. It looks terrible. It's not hurting or anything. It's not. Um, I've been treating it with some good cream and that. It's not. It's antiseptic stuff. It's okay. It just looks really bad. Where's this other lot here? I just got a few minutes. So I'll be looking at it. Whoa! Oh. 
I like that. He's a bit big though, isn't he? I use some of these too. These are really neat, these really old ones. Really cool. A bit faded though. Does that matter? Uh, yeah, I think so. I've got a square one. I like the square one. Oh dear, I wonder what that was. I hope that was a bead. Something just trickled down my leg. <laughs> I think it was a bead. I hope it wasn't a spider. Oh dear. I know I found some little, some baby daddy long leggy ones, you know, the baby, the daddy long legs. There's a few of them popping about in here. I hope that wasn't what just went down my leg. I think it might have been a bead roll down there. I used to hope it was. Look at that, that's a nice one. Mm. I don't want to do a lot, just a bit there. Just, I think I'm... Oh, pink one here. Pink one out. Pink one. They're too close together to that. They're too close to that one. All right. It doesn't have to be on the edge, does it? Hmm. So there's old and new ones there, hey? This one here. Look at that square one's there. Not helping me at all, really. I need these to be coloured. I need these to be, because they are. I need some colour on there. That one. Yes, that's nice. Maybe even go with the yellow. No, don't put the yellow on them. So think about what you're doing. I imagine I've picked these ones out from those. So I can, oh this is nice, look at that, that's a, it's a long one. Put that back and go for something else for there. Okay. So it doesn't have to be all the big buttons, does it? Okay, let's start stitching some of those on there and see what it looks like. I think they'll look good. If we do them nicely, well, we've got none of them got tiny holes in them, have they? That I won't get through. I don't think so. I'll try this first before I put. Yeah, we're not going to get that through there. I'll have to go and get the bead needle. We've got two bead needles. How many do you need? So you only need one. Okay, this one I'll do with the red. I'm going to put that heart on there first. And then I could probably change the thread if I needed to. Which part will he look like? Uh, right. Change your mind, you do. Well, sometimes you do that, don't you? I really needed to put the heart on because this is only a tiny, thin needle. And the heart needs to go on here somewhere. So the button cluster doesn't have to be just buttons. It can be the hearts. Oh, come on now. That's right, good. And then I'll put this square, this long one, over here. Alright, where's the needle? <laughs> you can't find, gotta come through the other side and see where I'm going. Which way does this go? Like that, it would. <laughs> it would sit like that, Sonia. I thought I was thinking about it. I oh, know, it's alright. Go like that. There you go. That's an old fancy one. That's nice. I like that. Oops. It might go through the hole. That'll work better for you. Okay, now better go. The video I did the other day turned into two. 
only, only was a minute or something that was missing off it, so it's okay. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave your comments. I really like to read them. Sometimes I do get around to answering you, so I just will get, <laughs> get to it. I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.